Hello, and welcome to another video. In episode 2, I explained why I believe the Jed pillars are representations of coils, and I pointed out that these coils can be used as antennas in wireless power transfer systems. In episode 5, I talked about the different types of electric oscillators. In this episode, I'm going to expand of those ideas. First, I want to look at this symbol, which is referred to as the Waz Scepter. In Egyptian mythology, it's believed that pharaohs carried the scepter to illustrate their connection to God. The Waz Scepter was a central item in coronation rituals, where it was presented to the new pharaoh. It signified the transfer of power. I think this symbol is used to represent a rectenna. Rectenas have various applications, including wireless power transfer systems, energy harvesting, and powering remote sensors or devices. Rectenna is short for rectifying antenna. They're a combination of an antenna and a rectifying circuit. Theoretically, they could be used to convert all types of electromagnetic waves, but typically they're used with either radio waves or microwaves. They're fascinating devices. How they work is, first, the antenna captures the electromagnetic waves. This induces an alternating current in the antenna. Then the rectifying circuit converts the alternating current into direct current, which can then be used to power a device. This sequence of hieroglyphs is quite common. From the right, they represent an oscillator, a coil, and a rectenna. Together in this order, they illustrate the foundation of a wireless electricity network. The oscillator provides the alternating current, which is fed into the coil. The coil then transmits electromagnetic waves. The electromagnetic waves are captured by the rectenna and converted into DC electricity. Sometimes this sequence is underlined or overlined with a serpent. Uh, this is believed to be a horned viper. I think it's supposed to represent a sine wave. There's at least nine different waveforms, depending how you count them. But the sine wave is the only waveform that concentrates 100% of the energy into a single frequency. A pure sine wave represents a single frequency with no harmonics or overtones. It's the fundamental waveform in both time and frequency domains, making it unique in this regard. Because of this property, sine waves are perfect for use in signal processing, communication systems, and wireless power transfer systems. Waveforms like square waves, triangle waves, and sawtooth waves contain multiple frequencies known as harmonics, in addition to their fundamental frequency. These harmonics spread the energy across different frequencies, making them less concentrated compared to a pure sine wave. The undulating movements of the serpent are perfect for symbolizing the way sine waves propagate. With serpents, the undulating movement starts at the head. In this hieroglyph sequence, the sine wave begins at the oscillator. I think that's why the head of the serpent is in line with the oscillator, to signify the beginning of the wave. You'll notice that beneath the sequence there's a large semicircle. I think this represents half an atom, and I think it's been placed at the bottom to signify that this network is running on atomic energy. In this variation, they've chosen to overlay the sequence with the symbol for electricity. It's quite common for this sequence to be preceded by a pictogram of a pyramid. The only way this can make sense is if the pyramid was the power source. So, this sequence reads as power source, oscillator, coil antenna, rectenna. Here's another interesting sequence. You'll notice, in this variation, the serpent's head is in line with the power source, signifying that the sine wave begins at the power source, which suggests that the pyramid here was an alternating current power source. So, this sequence reads as AC power source, oscillator, coil,
coil antenna, rectenna. And there's half an atom beneath the pyramid, an oscillator, to signify that the system is running on atomic energy. Alternating current generators are designed to output a specific frequency. If they wanted to use a single AC power source to transmit on multiple frequencies, they'd need to alter the frequency of the power source, and that's why they've got an oscillator in between the AC generating pyramid and the coil antenna. The next set of hieroglyphs I want to look at is this, as you can see. At the beginning of this sequence, there's something that resembles a lighthouse in the place you would expect to find the power source. I suspect they had something similar to Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower transmitter. So in this sequence, there's a transmission tower, an oscillator, a coil, and a rectenna. Overall, it's the same theme as the others except this starts with a transmission tower instead of a pyramid. In our time, Nikola Tesla is associated with all the devices in this sequence. He built a transmission tower that resembles the one here, he also invented oscillators, and he invented AC coils. The rectenna wasn't invented until 1960 by William Brown, but the idea was pioneered by Tesla in the late 1800s and the whole system is operating on alternating current, which again, Tesla didn't invent, but he was its most prominent proponent, famously going head to head with Thomas Edison in what was called the Current Wars, which Tesla ultimately won. Our modern world is built on the legacy of his inventions. This brings us to the end of the video I hope you've enjoyed listening to these ideas. Thank you. And goodbye.